Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5-10. So this is very interesting problem. The statement is the coupling is used to connect two shafts together. So you can see this shaft and this shaft they are held together by using this coupling. Assuming that the sharing stress in bolt is uniform, determine the number of bolt necessary to make the sharing stress in the shaft equal to the sharing stress in the bolt. Each bolt has diameter D. So we will start from the given data. It is given that the diameter of bolt is D, diameter of bolt is equal to D and again that is uh, what we have to find is that you have to find the number of bolt necessary to make the maximum sharing stress in shaft equal to the sharing stress in bolt. So we have to find number of bolts which is equal to n but condition is given that maximum sharing stress in shaft that is in shaft is equal to sharing stress in the bolt so we will take the average sharing stress in the bolt and we'll equate it with this condition so let's start with the solution now you can see these are the bolts so there definitely each bolt will have a shear force so if I draw the frontal view of this bolt clear and uh, uh, this coupling as well so let's say this is the coupling I will draw it using the circle uh, this is the circle so let's say this is the circle and if they, this is the bolt clear so now you can see that uh, definitely there will be a shear force in the bolt that is equal to F and this is the center of this coupling so from center to this this radius is given you can see this is R clear this distance is R so torque for one bolt will be equal to F into R Clear. So for n number of bolts, n bolts, this torque will be equal to n f r. Now we have find out the torque in each bolt or uh, uh, torque for n number of bolts. So you can see there is external torque is is also applied. So there sum of this torque must be equal to zero. So this applied torque there minus the torque produced in the bolt which is n f r this must be equal to zero in order to balance it so from here we can get that this torque is equal to n f r again the same thing clear whether you do this or this both will give you the same answer so torque divided by F into R will give you N which is number of uh, sorry not number of we do not require here we want to find this force there so torque divided by N R will be give you this force because if we find can find this force so we can get the sharing stress in bolt because sharing stress in bolt is equal to sharing stress sharing force divided by sharing area so we need this f so f is equal to t over nr so you can put it over here so for n bolts we will take the average sharing stress so every sharing stress is equal to shear force divided by sharing area diameter of bolt is given as d so sharing area will be equal to pi by 4 d square okay or uh, you can put the value of this f over here clear so we will get the average sharing stress is equal to f is equal to t over n into r 
clear divided by area is pi by 4 d square so again rearranging them so this average sharing stress will be 4 t over n r pi d square i hope you have idea about this 4 will go upward this n r will go downward so 4 t over pi d square into n r now we have maximum sharing stress we can also find the sharing stress maximum sharing stress in shaft and maximum sharing stress in shaft is equal to t into c divided by j t is again same t c is the maximum radius which is given as r so i will replace c with r divided by j so pi by 2 r 4 there so this will be the maximum sharing stress in shaft this while this is for n volts n means number of volts there again simplifying it you will get 2t over pi r cube maximum sharing stress in shaft now in above condition it was given that maximum sharing stress in shaft is equal to sharing stress in the bolt so when you equate both maximum sharing stress in shaft is equal to average sharing stress in bolt so maximum sharing shaft uh, sharing stress in shaft is 2t over pi r cube and average is 4t over n r pi d square clear so t t will cancel there and pi pi will cancel so we will left only the thing is and we want to find n so 2n over r cube will be equal to 4 over r d square so 2 will cancel with 2 1 to 2 so we will have n is equal to 2 into r cube divided by r d square there so this is the answer this is the number of bolts required so if you have the diameter radius of the shaft diameter of the bolt and the r location of this bolt from the center of this coupling or center of shaft so if you have this value you can put it and you will get the number of bolts that will give you the that will uh, uh, give you the result that is defined over here that maximum sharing stress in shaft is equal to average sharing stress in the bolts. I hope you have uh, better uh, understanding of such type of problem. Thank you for watching.